today we're going to have a look at an interesting pen. But before we do that, I would like to dedicate this video to my friend Stuart. I met Stuart in DC. He wore a magnificent bow tie, and it was an absolute pleasure to have a conversation with him. So, Stuart, this video is for you, and today we're going to have a look at this pen. The Statue of Zeus by Pelikan. A little bit of background. The, um, it's part of the Seven Wonders of the Ancient World series. They have launched um, other parts in that series, but that was a while ago. It's one of the new ones. It's uh, dedicated to a statue of Zeus, obviously, uh, which was uh, uh, made in, uh, I think, 435 BCE uh, by Phidias. And, uh, well, that, 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 the pen is all about that statue. So I'll show you that in a second. First of all, the box. Fairly luxurious box, a Greek key and, and all that stuff. A little picture of the statue. Um, carefully opening this. We have this uh, fancy thing. This is just a bit of protection. The statue of Zeus. You open it up. It's so nice. It's magnetic. I guess you can just tear that off and put it on your fridge or something. Um, you have this. You have a nice large bottle of ink, uh, which... Um, uh, looks like a, a nice sort of orange brown, like a, a warm color. Um, it's a limited edition. This is 289 of 300, so it, it, it is a, a pretty limited, limited edition, if that makes sense. Um, taking out this bit, then there is a, a pretty extensive booklet. Um, so we get this. That's a um, limited edition, so it has filling instructions, that sort of stuff. Uh, and there's also a, a more general uh, booklet in several languages about the, the sort of the, the, the backstory to the pen. Okay, I'm going to put that away and then let's have a look at the pen. Here we go. The statue of Zeus. It's right there. Um, the, the statue is worked into the barrel in sterling silver and then it's electroplated with 18 karat gold. I'll show you a close up in one second, but that's, I think that's what this pen is about. And as I said, 300 pieces, so it is a limited pen and it's a Pelican. It's a 400 size if, if, you, uh, if you're familiar with the, with the, the, the Pelican system. So it's, it's actually fairly small. I'll, I'll come back to that in a second, but let's first cover the parts of the pen. There we go, little Pelican with the baby chick on top as a finial. We have the stylized pelican with the, the head and then the bill as a clip. I like these clips. I have a nice shiny white cap and a center band, um, which is, uh, it's, it's rose gold. So it's, it's quite warm. Uh, it does say Germany. It says AG925, so that makes it uh, sterling silver. Uh, and then pelican and Toledo, because it's, it's one of those Toledo overlays. Uh, and that's that's what we're talking about. So here we have a, a representation of that statue of Zeus in silver and then gold plated. And on the back you have this nice, uh, what shall we call that? Nice, nice scroll work, uh, nice detail. At the end here we have the piston turning knob with two rose gold rings, and that's just a piston turning knob. The cap screws off. Which what I've always enjoyed about these pens is that. The, uh, the cap comes off very easily. It's not 50 turns or something. Simple section, another rose gold ring, and then the nib. In this case, a broad nib. Uh, and uh, come back to the nib in a second. Here we have a, an ink window. That's nice so you know how much ink is left because it is a piston filler. There we go. And there you have it. As I said, it's a, it's a smaller pen. Relatively speaking, I know that for some people this is a big pen, relatively speaking, right? There's a 400, that's a 600, the 800, and then the M1000. So it's it's definitely uh, on the smaller scale of things when it comes to uh, Pelican. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with the 400, maybe you know the 200, that's that's the same size. So not a not a really big, uh, big pen. If you want to, uh, you can post it. And then I think it's a very nice size. Unposted for me, it's, it's on the small size, but definitely usable. Let me tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. The artistry is great. I mean, they, they put in quite a lot of uh, detail um, uh, when it comes to the, the statue. I mean, I've, I've just shown you that, but I mean, that's, that's nice. It looks good. 
silver with electroplated gold. It, it, it looks nice. It's very warm. And this is kind of the, the color scheme I associate with, with Greek uh, amphoras, you know, those, those, those vases. You have the black, you have sort of bronze colored uh, uh, paintings on it. Um, this is very much that color. So they've, they've captured that pretty well. I like that. And it's a pelican, it has a piston, and that's all great. But there are a couple of things we should talk about though. Um, first of all, there was the nib. Uh, I had a lot of issues with the nib. Uh, this is a nib that was very, very finicky, uh, that I think was over polished. So it had a lot of skipping, uh, it had a lot of hard starts, and that's not really acceptable in any pen. But this pen is 1930 euros. That's 1930 euros. Clearly, it's a collector's piece. I understand that's part of a collectible series. It has gold on it. It has, I mean, I understand all of that. But even so, we're talking about a very, very expensive pen. And especially at that price. It had better damn right, right? Uh, so, that's a problem. Now, that doesn't mean that all of the nibs are like that. But this particular one really required work to make it usable, and that's an issue. Now having said that, uh, the price obviously prohibitive for many people, uh, and uh, I mean, that's that's understandable. It's uh, it's an expensive uh, piece, as I said, it's it's limited, it's, it's gold on it and all that, but even so, 1930, that's, that's a lot, especially given it's a pretty small pen. Do this on M1000, and people would probably think, all right, sign me up, in it because at least you have a very large pen and it looks really imposing. This is pretty small. This is the pen and this is a Caveco Procaio, which is actually bigger. Um, and this is 15 euros and this is uh, quite a bit more. Now, of course, um, here you have it next to an M1000. So that, that kind of explains what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's really pretty small. That size, that price, and then a nib that has quite some issues kind of makes it hard to sell, huh? So, I'm not that I'm trying to sell it, but you know what I mean. There's quite a couple of issues with this, and I think I've conveyed that adequately. Having said that, a collector's piece, make no mistake, there are going to be people who buy this and they will just put it on their desk, and then it's probably fine, but then it's a museum piece and not really a pen as far as I'm concerned. So there you have it. Yoast, thank you for sending me the pen, or lending me the pen, I should say. I appreciate that. High-resolution pictures, as well as measurements of the pen, will be on the website, sbrebrown.com. We need to see how it writes. That's what's coming up next. I hope this was useful so far, and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye. Okay, so here we go with the Pelican. statue of Zeus. The nib is broad and the ink is just waterman blue. And what I don't think I really showed that off, but the the nib is actually rose gold. So that's kind of nice. May have noted the uh, noticed the uh, hard starts. That was another one. It is very smooth though. That's the issue with over polishing, right? You end up with a very smooth nib, but it skips a lot. There's some fast writing. And you see that it, it really skips quite a bit if you go that fast. Of course, nobody writes that fast, but there's definitely some skipping going on. Okay. So that was, what, five five lines before it actually wrote. Um, and of course, that is a, not the ideal angle for a fountain pen. But that should be, and even that had issues. So that's what I mean by hard starting when it's over polished. Now, as to wetness, no real complaints there. Line variation. Definitely some to be uh, squeezed out. although not an extreme amount. Reverse writing, you 
see there's a, a very slight stubbiness to the broad nib in the, the line variation you get. It's possible it's, it's not really scratchy and you do get a, uh, a, a finer line. So there you have it. Yoast, thanks for lending me this pen. I appreciate it. I hope this was useful and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.